In this video we're going to have a look at how we can set the height of a TK Inter label. This is a program we've already seen in the playlist on TK Inter. We have the usual three lines of code we would expect and on this line we create an instance of the label and then we pack the label onto the window. If we look at the text that's been set here we can see it's hello world then we have the backslash n then hello world and we should know that that's going to output hello world on one line the backslash n moves the cursor to the next line where hello world is then printed on that line we're setting the border width to one the relief to solid and the font is times of size 32 so when this program executes what we expect to see is the following and you can see hello world is displayed twice this program is identical to the program above but it has the addition of this where it says height is assigned 1. Now this argument as you would expect sets the height of the label and the height of the label being set to 1 means that there will be enough room to display one line of this font times of this size 32 so when you talk about the height you have to bear in mind that it also has to take into account the size of the font so when this computer program executes what we're going to see is the following and you can see that it does not display two lots of hello world it appears to display half of both now the reason for that is the height has been set to the size of one meaning it is only capable of displaying one of the the lines but the way in which TK Inter works it takes the text and it sets the size of the label in this case to one and the text is centered within that label so if it is centered and if we look at what is the center of the string by looking at the previous window you can see the center of the string is here and that's what gets displayed here so we can see for the program we've just discussed we get this output here now i'm going to amend the program and the amendment is shown here i've simply changed the height to the value of two now that means that the label will now be capable of displaying two lines and when this program executes this is what we will see and there's no problem on this occasion when we display two lines of text this program shows one amendment from the one we've just considered and the amendment is shown here where we make the height of the label 3. So when we look at the runtime associated with this program what we will see is this and you can see that we have two lines displayed but if you look here and here there is in fact in both positions only enough room for half of hello world giving a very similar result to the program seen earlier in this video if i now amend this program further and the amendment is shown here i've changed the height to four and we look at its runtime what we will see is this and you can clearly see here and here there is enough room for a line in each position without any of it being cropped when you consider the creation of the label on this line you can see that there are numerous arguments and indeed there are many more arguments associated with the creation of a label and if i was to continue to type in the arguments i require on one line then this line is going to grow in this direction to a degree that's going to make the code layout difficult to read so what we can do instead we can write this line as shown here and you can see that I'm using label one which is the same as this I'm using label which is the same as this and then I've got my window and a comma which is the same as this here now when I type this comma I then hit return on the keyboard and the cursor will move to this position allowing me to type this slot in with another comma now if you look at this you can see it's the same as this up here and then look at this and you can see it's the same as this this is the same as this so in other words instead of typing so this line gets bigger and bigger in this direction i can lay it out more effectively as shown here the things you need to bear in mind is this you have to at the end of each line type a comma as you can see here 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 and you have to start with this bracket here and you have to end with a bracket there and note after this one there is no comma likewise there's no comma after this one here now if we were to run either of these 
these programs, what we would expect to see is the following. Now this layout is easier for us to read and it's a question if I wanted now to add any more named arguments, I would just add it to what is this list here. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.